These two, I used the lava beads and the jade beads, respectively, using, these are just, this is a recycled necklace, and I'm assuming these little brass, copper, I don't, I'm not sure what they are, little bits were inside the beads. They were inside the beads like a liner. Like, um, which I really thought was kind of strange, but so they were lined with some sort of brass, copper, whatever. Um, so of course I had to take that out because it was all watered up anyway. So, these are the jade. And these are like um, banded agate or something. I'm not quite sure because, of course, like I said, they're recycled. They were out of a, a uh, mm -hmm, garage sale box. So, alright. But, uh, the ones I'm going to make, the one I'm going to make is going to be turquoise. Uh, well, it's actually, um, mm -hmm died how like these are I believe these are really bone and then from the end beads these um <laughs> dragon bane I'm not actually sure if they're real or if they're glass or I don't remember I look back at the <laughs> the order receipt. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll get a little bit of uh, stretch cord and I'll run you through that. And then we'll, we'll put one of these together. Okay? I did already use these um, agates. I did want to use six more. It takes six to make a bracelet. Seven inch bracelet. I was going to use, these are the uh, Pyrite, really pretty, kind of a brassy kind of, not brass, a bronzy kind of color, a aged bronzy kind of color, I thought that would really be kind of pretty, so I may do that, or these are the uh, faux hematite, and I swear you cannot tell the difference. They're even just as heavy as him as It's crazy. But those may be too shiny. Okay, so let, let's let's go with the pyrite. Okay, so I'll get the cord out and um, like I said, run you through that. And I'll be right back. Okay. By the way, this is a bead mat. Not to be confused with a bead board. It's the thing that's got the little trail for you to put your beads in. I've got one of those too somewhere. <laughs> I've had the bead mat for years. All it's for is to keep your beads from rolling around. So they don't roll off the table. Okay. So. Like this one takes six of the banded agate and six of the these were the lava beads so six of the pyrite and these are really these are really rare really special not rare rare to me Okay, so the stretch cord, <laughs> sorry about that, this is just what came 
in the package when I bought some other beads. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you where to get it. Um, but stretchy cord is pretty universal. It does come in different sizes. And really for these, because these are very heavy, um, I would want a one millimeter. I, I'd want it a little bit bigger than this. But this is okay as long as you uh, treat the cord properly. Let's, I'd say let's find an end, but that can be difficult. You think that one is the end, but that one is actually the other end. It's the one that's buried. Aha. So I say, this one is the one that's buried. Actually, they may both be. So, I'm used to doing this with my <laughs> tape, with my, mm-hmm. My ruler, my measured board underneath. But I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people leave it still attached. But I'm pretty good at holding on to both ends. So, first thing you want to do when you first start is you want to stretch the cord. I know I'm going all the way down just little sections at a time okay instead of holding both ends and pulling because you'll never stretch it enough that way okay so it's pre-stretched it's ready now <laughs> the mess of these beads first of all I want six I want them all kind of smallish. Yeah, like those. I'll to clean them up a little bit. Try to get that brass out of each each one of them. Now you can look down the hole and see whether you've gotten it out or not that one still has a little this one mm. yeah that one looks clear that one may have a little i can't see through it So there's still a little cleanup to do on these. So I'm going to pin. Yep, this, is, this one's still got a bit. But it's really hard to grab hold of and push it through. So I'm gonna go off camera and get the rest of these out. The only thing else I'm gonna use is, a, this is actually a little bit of crackle accents, but some glossy accents. Um, something that won't react with the uh, elastic cord you can use um, super glue gel I, i've seen on videos <laughs> i've i've done this actually for years but i've watched a few videos um that told you how to i told you to glue a, a drop of glue on the end okay Finding the hole can be the hardest. Now you can use a beading needle 
Um, I do have a beading needle somewhere down in my supply drawer. Some of these I might actually not have gotten that. A little brass out of the end. I know it has a hole. <laughs> Oh, finally, I put the pin through at the same time as the uh, stretchy cord, and then I pushed that brass thing out. Like I said, finding the hole on these black... Now, since I'm making this for a man's size bracelet, this one is, this one is seven and a half. Normally, I make them six and a half, seven, something like that. These are the, I uh, made 21 already. Um, these are a combination of acrylic beads and glass beads, um, so it helps make them weightier than just acrylic, but not as heavy as real um, gemstones or glass. Either one is going to be really heavy. Okay. Start with a regular knot, like tying your shoe. Then you're going to go the opposite of whatever you just did. Left, right over left, or left over right. You're going to run it through mm -hmm, two times. Okay. This time, you're going to pull it pretty hard right. then we're gonna go back and while we're holding the ends we're gonna pull on that knot to make sure it's good and tight okay then you can just throw another if you feel like it full knot okay so there we go Why well, keep it upside down so it doesn't clog? And it's always ready to use. Okay, so I'll just stretch it out on my finger like that. Put a drop. Okay, now. I'll take the one side fish it through come on Fish it through. Fish it through to the other side of this large hole bead. Okay. And what I'm going to do is pull it so that that knot hides inside that bead. Okay. 
then you can pull it just a little bit and clip off the end. Okay. Same thing on this side. Okay, now that knot is hidden where you can't see it. Which to me is not that big a deal even if you can because like on these I always put a dangle. Sorry, it's just, it's just who I am. I like it to make noise. I like everything to make noise, don't I? Okay. So here we go. Pirate and Banded Agate. Really, really pretty. Lava Bead and Banded Agate. And Jade and Banded Agate. All of these from end beads and a recycled um, necklace. It, it must have been, you know, it's one of those um, uh -huh, wrap around style where it hangs really long and sort of that was a bunch of beads. After we got the brass out of the middle. They looked really nice, so. Alright. I'll leave the links below. Um, where you can find the beads at great, great deals. Uh, I'll leave a coupon code. Um, uh -huh. They've got all kinds of sales promotions. And uh, just a great place to shop. So, thank you so much to Indeeds for sending me all these wonderful yummies and stretch beads, stretch bracelets, stretch bracelets. That's what we're going to go with, stretch bracelets. <laughs> okay, thank you all so much for watching. I've got an Amazon shop that I get a little kickback from. I don't have an Etsy shop anymore, so ignore that link. Um, the rest of my social media links are listed below. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. I've got a quick tutorial. Um, yeah. For stretchy bracelets. Okay, stretchy bracelets. They're really easy, really fun, so easy. You could teach a elementary school class. <gasps> they would, mm, they would be so excited. Okay, this is just stretch cord that came with some other beads that I bought, but you can find the stretch cord at most um, craft stores. You really and truly for um, gemstones, glass beads, anything like that, you want a, a one millimeter. This is just a little smaller. It still will work. Um, but just a little thicker would be fantastic for these heavier. Um, these banded agates are pretty heavy. These uh, these are pyrite, and they are pretty heavy, so. Okay. Beads, scissors, stretchy cord, and a little bit of glossy accents. Just, or super glue, uh, gel super glue. I pre-stretched my cord, laid out my design a little bit. Just going to string them on. Maybe with less cursing this time. Although, I can tell already. Trying to find a hole on these. It's not going to be easy. <gasps> there it is. Again, I guess I'm going to have to finish this off camera because, uh,
find in the hole on these. <sighs> it's really difficult. You gotta look for a, a black hole in the middle of the black universe. Be right back. Okay, sure. As soon as, as, soon as you turn the camera off, found the holes, no problem. Okay, again, just tie it like you're tying your shoes. First go around. Okay. First go around, I don't pull it too tight. I just pull it snug. Then hold the snugness. Okay. Well, this time, we go the opposite and go two times and pull it really snug. Okay, then just because I'm a little crazy, well, first of all, I will pull. I'll pull on the elastic just to snug that knot down. Then. I'll go back and just tie one more. Okay. Grab the glossy accents, uh, gel super glue. I just don't, I just don't like the gel super glue on my skin. It drives me insane. Even though it will peel right off. It will peel right off with some of your skin. Okay. Again. Thread that end through. This time the, the bone bead. Because it has the larger hole. Right. There we go. Snip those extra elastic wasted um good six inches there are wasted, but anyway. Here we go. Kind of simple, but really kind of nice. Okay, this one is about seven and a quarter. Start off with just like you're tying your shoe. Okay. Pull but not too tight. Hold it and then go the opposite of that you just tied. If you went right over left, go left over right. And then do a double and pull it tight. Okay. Now what I'll do is hold the ends and pull on the elastic to tighten that knot. Okay, then I will tie again. Okay. Now that actually might be large enough to hide this bead back in. So let's go with, you can put a drop of um, super glue gel. This is just glossy accents, or in this case crackle accents, because I'm out of glossy accents. Ok, 
Okay, I'll take the one side and put it back through the hole. Okay. Now, I'll stretch it and pull it inside that bead. And I will clip just the one side of the elastic. And then it's hidden. Completely hidden. Now, if it doesn't work out where it will completely hide, that's where I put the dangles. So that helps to hide. Okay, just add a couple of dangles to add a little extra weight. Although this one is it's really nice, it's kind of weighty. It's a little big on me, but I have really small wrists, so. Okay, that is just one of the um, really fun, simple ideas that I've got for Christmas gifts. Just beads you've got in your stash, some stretchy cord, and a little glossy accents, and that's it. And you can go to town, I'm telling you. This is just since Saturday. I could go on and on. This little spool right here did it did all of these bracelets I think plus two of these before I had to start another spool so is that crazy that is crazy it's like 25 bracelets all together so hmm and then I've done three so far off the next one. So you'll get a lot of value for your money there, huh? Okay. I'll I, I'll put the links down below to Sabrinka's um, Amazon shop. And maybe to where you could get some... It won't be this crystal tech. Uh, but some sort of stretch cord. Okay, I'm sure your scissors, you've got yourself, huh? <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've got an Amazon shop that I get a little kickback from. I ignore the Etsy shop link. And I've got the rest of my social media links listed below. Bye for now. <laughs>